Hey up everyone, welcome back to the Rugby League History channel. Tonight I'll be doing my tips for round 23 of the 2022 NRL season. Last week I got 5 out of 8 correct. Let me know in the comment section below how many you got. There's some very big matchups coming up this weekend. Two big rivalry games plus the grand final rematch, rematch between South Sydney and Penrith. So let's get into the first match which is kicking off on Thursday. And the first match is on Thursday night. It's between South Sydney and Penrith. This one's being played at Stadium Australia. It sees South Sydney in fifth at the moment and Penrith the runaway league leaders. This is the grand final rematch rematch. These two sides have already met once beforehand in the year and Penrith will run away with it then. But things will change now. There's a few players out for Penrith and uh, very important players as well. Cleary, Luai... They've got a couple of other players that are out as well. And South Sydney are on a roll at the moment. They're sat in fifth. However, Penrith have won eight of their last ten encounters against South Sydney. For this game, however, though, I'm going to go for a bit of an upset. I'm going to go for South to win 1-12. I think they've been playing very well over the last month or so. And I think that they can get the job done over a, a depleted Penrith side there on the Thursday at Stadium Australia. The first match on the Friday is between North Queensland and New Zealand. This one's being played at Queensland Country Bank Stadium. North Queensland second, New Zealand in 13th at the moment. The head-to-head -head between these two sides has been quite even over the recent couple of years. And uh, a lot of the games have actually been decided by the odd try here or there. And the last two matches have been decided by one point. Uh, the last time that North uh, New Zealand, I should say, Won in Townsville was round 15 of the 2018 season. They won that 23 points to 16. And before that, round 3, 2014 was the last time that New Zealand won in Townsville. For this match, I'm going to go for North Queensland to win 1-12. I think uh, New Zealand might start strong or might come out strong. But North Queensland are second for a reason this year. They're playing very well. And I think that they will beat New Zealand there on the Friday night. The main match on the Friday is between Brisbane and Melbourne. This one's being played at Suncorp Stadium. It sees Brisbane in sixth at the moment and Melbourne in fourth. Uh, for this fixture, it's not very good reading for Brisbane. Uh, Melbourne have won their last 11 matches against Brisbane. And the last time that Brisbane won against Melbourne was in round 25 of the uh, 2016 season. They beat them 26 points to 16. <laughs> And since the 2006 Grand Final, Brisbane's only won four matches against Melbourne. And in most of these matches, Melbourne win by at least 20 points. So I think for this match, I'm going to go for Melbourne to win by 13+. plus. I just think that the hoodoo is going to continue. Uh, for some reason, Melbourne always seem to beat Brisbane, and especially up at Suncorp Stadium. It's a home away from, from home for Melbourne, so I'm going to go for Melbourne to win 13+, plus there on the Friday. The first match on Super Saturday is the second biggest rivalry in the NRL. Two very fierce rivals, Parramatta against Canterbury Bankstown. Parramatta in 7th at the moment, Canterbury in 12th. This one's being played at the Western Sydney Stadium. Parramatta's won 7 of their last 10 matches against Canterbury in this fixture. However, Canterbury won earlier in the year when they were bottom of the table and they absolutely battered Parramatta there at Stadium Australia. Uh, the head-to-head -head between these two sides overall is 151 matches played. Parramatta has won 68, Canterbury's won 78 and there's been five draws. Uh, Parramatta still have an outside chance of missing the finals, but they have to lose all their matches pretty much and Canberra have to win all theirs for them to overtake Parramatta. For this match, this is once again a, a danger game for Parramatta because even though Canterbury has sat 12th, uh, with these type of matches, farm goes out the window and Parramatta is going to be without Mitchell Moses again, which is a, a massive blow. Uh, for this match, I'm going to go for the upset. I'm going to go for Canterbury to win 1-12. I can just see uh, Matt Burton putting through one of them kicks across the field again and Adol Carr racing away to score. I can see some other things happening. So <laughs> I'm going to go for Canterbury to win 1-12 there against Parramatta at the Western Sydney Stadium on Saturday. The second match on Super Saturday is also a big rivalry game. It's the Battle of the Beaches match 
It's Manly Moringa against Cronulla Sutherland. This one's being played at Brookvale Oval. Manly in 10th, Cronulla in 3rd. Uh, this is probably one of the most one-sided rivalries I can think of in any Spartan court. Uh, Manly certainly have the wood over Cronulla. They've won seven of the last ten encounters against them. Also at Brookvale Oval, uh, Cronulla's only won six matches there out of a possible 48 since they come into the competition. The last time that they won at Brookvale Oval was on the March on March 15th, 2008. Uh, and overall, the head-to-head record between Manly and Canterbury is... Uh, there's been 95 matches played. Cronulla's got 26 wins. Manly's got 67. And there's been two draws. But you might think that I might be attacking Cronulla, but just wait for, their, for a moment. I'm definitely not. I think for this particular match, all these facts that I've listed are not really going to mean much because I think Cronulla's going to win this match 1-12 at Brookvale Oval. I think that they've been playing very well this year. They've been the better team this year compared to Manly. Manly's season's pretty much done and dusted. Um, so I've got no reason but to tip Cronulla to win 1-12. I think that they'll get the job done there at Brookvale Oval and get their first win there since 2008. And now we move into the final game on Super Saturday. This one's between Sydney Roosters and West Tigers. This one's being played at the Sydney Cricket Ground. And it sees Eastern Suburbs and Aids at the moment. And West Tigers are dead last um, with this fixture, East have won their last six matches in a row against West Tigers. And in the NRL, Sydney Roosters have won their last five matches in a row. I think uh, I'm going to make this pretty much short and sweet. I think Sydney Roosters will win 13 plus there at Sydney Cricket Ground. I think that they'll put a cricket score on West Tigers at the cricket ground. Um, it's going to take a major miracle or something special for West Tigers to get something out of this match and they're going to be trying because they're going to not want to finish bottom and get the wooden spoon for the first time in club history but I'll go for Sydney Roosters to win 13 plus there the first match on the Sunday is between St George and the Gold Coast see St George in 11th and the Gold Coast in 15th St George have lost their last three matches in a row in the NRL and the Gold Coast have won their last three straight matches against St George in this fixture. So in recent times, Gold Coast have got the wood over St George. Uh, with the Gold Coast, they're currently sat in 15th at the moment. Nobody expected them to really do out against Manly. And they come away with the win and now they find themselves in 15th. And I think they really see themselves in with a chance of getting back-to-back -back wins over a struggling St George side at the moment. This is a really tricky match to the car because it could really go either way both teams haven't been good this year but I'll go for St George to win 1-12 basically for no other reason than that they're the home side so I'll go for St George to win 1-12 there on the Sunday and the final match to close out this round is between Newcastle and Cambria this one's being played at McDonald Jones Stadium there and it's Newcastle and Farlington at the moment and Cambria sat in ninth. This is a very, very important match for Canberra because it's another must-win match for them. If they want to make the finals this year, they have to pretty much win all their games and hope that uh, either Eastern Suburbs or Parramatta lose most of their matches or if all of them. So for Canberra, it's a must-win scenario for them. The last time that they won at McDonald Jones Stadium was in round two of the 2014 season. They beat Newcastle 26 points to 20. Newcastle haven't been very good this year. In their last 10 fixtures, have only won three of them. For this match, I'm going to go for Canberra to win one to 12. I think that they need to win, they have to win, and I think that they will win. So I'm going to go for Canberra. So anyways, that's been my tips for round 23 of the 2022 NRL season. Hope you enjoyed this video and the tips. If you did... Let me know your tips and who you're going for in the comment section below. I will be doing my Super League tips tomorrow and then on Wednesday there will be another episode of the View from the North podcast with Just Rugby League aka Dave. So stay tuned for that one. Anyways everyone, thanks for watching. Tatty bye for now.